science is in everything. And science is in one of my favorite things. Science is in my guitar. I'm Rochelle Fink, and I want to talk to you about the basic physics of the acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar is a popular instrument, and it can be a quite complex scientific specimen. Even in the acoustic guitar's basic physics, there's a lot going on before sound even gets to your ears. The guitar has strings pulled over a hollow body called the soundboard, because this is where the sound resonates from the strings. The strings get threaded through and over a bridge. This gives the strings space to vibrate. Uh, then they're pulled up, setting in the grooves of the nut, and then wound up at the top with a tuning peg. And this is how the tension of the string is controlled. Each string is pulled taut, stretching the material of the string and changing the vibration it makes when it's plucked. Across the neck of the guitar, there are metal strips embedded into the wood of the neck called the frets. These make it so that when a string is pressed, it shortens the length of the string that is vibrating and changes the sound that it makes. There are so many components that affect how a guitar sounds. Everything from the thickness, shape, type of wood used for the body, the thickness and type of strings used. That's why there's so many different kinds of guitars. How hard the strings are plucked, whether the guitarist is using a pick or their fingers, how they're holding the guitar, in part determines the volume at which our ears will hear it and what sort of sound it'll make. Cracks and warps can change the sound. Even moisture in the air can affect the density of the wood and how the guitar sounds. There's a lot of science in the acoustic guitar. In fact, it's physics. The physics of sound waves. Every sound is produced by vibration. Vibration is the back and forth movement of an object. Sound energy travels in waves. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. In longitudinal waves, the vibrations are parallel to the direction of the wave. Sound waves can travel through solids, liquids, or gases, but it travels differently through each one. So think of a slinky moving left to right and some coils coming closer together and separating. So how does an acoustic guitar work? An acoustic guitar produces sound acoustically. That means by transmitting the vibration of the strings into the air. When a string is plucked, it vibrates. Those vibrations are transferred through the bridge and the saddle, then on the soundboard of the guitar. The hollow body then amplifies the sound and pushes the vibrations and air out of the sound hole. Different strings produce different speeds of vibration. Thicker strings are slower, thinner strings are faster. You can speed up the string's vibration by shortening it, pressing on the fretboard closer towards the sound hole. You can release or increase the tension. Looser strings go slower, tighter strings go faster. Playing the guitar is simply playing different combinations of faster and slower vibrations.